Open ocean door. Stand by. Floor Barracuda 01. Barracuda 01 launched. Maintain radio contact. This is really need an explanation? Probably not. I've done like three, four-ish playthroughs of this on my channel. I was doing a co-op with Commander Useless from the TFP channel, but that sort of fell off the face of the planet when we sort of got out of sync with the recording. He seemed to be taking a bit of a break and I just simply couldn't sync up with him anymore. So I figured I may as well just start up a solo one because A, it's been a while and B, having just like one part of it a week isn't really enough for anybody we'd be playing it for like three years before we finished. So I decided to start one on my own. I am taking soldier names. Um, please do leave a comment below if you would like a soldier name, though I cannot promise unique loadouts and stuff like that or roles. That's more of a Patreon reward thing. It's one of the tiers that I got going on there is you get your own, you know, custom loadout. So I probably won't be doing that for the, you know, the freebie names. But, you know, it's fine. Still leave a comment and I'll, I'll get you in there as a name. The Patreon people obviously are going first, though I will be having like 20 to 30 soldiers-ish and I'll sort of mix together the Patreon people and the freebie names together so everybody still, you know, gets involved. Because uh, otherwise it's waiting until cloning the first of the month and that kind of blows for some people who die really early on like a day one terror mission or something like that, that they end up dying and they have to wait the entire month. Maybe we're doing base attacks and I don't like doing it that way. So I figure just being good at sort of mixing the crews together will be, will be just fine. We'll see though. I am playing with, what is it called? It's Blade Firelight's thing. It, it's not Open XCOM because Open XCOM is currently working on Terror of the Deep, but they haven't yet completed it, and there is no public version of it yet. So I will definitely be doing that when I can, though. But for the time being, I'm just doing XCOM Utility, I think this one is. Yeah, yeah, XCOM Utility, that's the one. It does a bunch of bug fixes, the difficulty bug fix, and a couple research bugs and stuff like that. It also allows a bit of customization to the game, like Infinite Ammo for the Gauze Rifles, though I didn't turn that on. I figured I'd leave that off. I don't usually use Gauze anyway. But what I did change was the Die Grenade, I believe, I increased the strength of because it's widely regarded that it's a bug or a typo that the Die Grenade just isn't good. It's terrible. It's awful. I usually don't use it anyway, but I figure the one time I do use it, it may as well fucking work. <laughs> so its strength is increased, so it's actually effective on like turn two. And the mind control is enabled. I won't be using it, but the aliens can. And I have the MC lab set up, so as soon as I build one, everybody gets screened immediately. I figure I'm not using my control offensively, so just knowing the number, what's the harm in it, it's more a curiosity thing than anything. I'm not really going to be firing people based on it. But, you know, it's just one of those little things that always annoyed me, because otherwise you have 10 people, they go in there, they're out for a month, and then they come back, and you realize, oh, these guys are all shit at mind control, and you just end up firing them because you can't have that come the final mission. But I figure I don't really care. So yeah, new game. I am incredibly out of practice and I strongly considered going superhuman anyway, but I think I'm just gonna stick to normal veteran because it's been a while and mind control's on and that's very scary. As far as base goes, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go with the Americas, alternatively Asia, because there's a lot of nice funding nations in the area to protect. But I think just for just for good old times sake, I'll just hit up America, but I'm going to head out into the ocean a bit. I suppose I could go... We'll go right on Bermuda there. Why not? I'm off a little bit. Okay, we're not right on Bermuda. I fucked up. Oh well. I guess if there's a terror mission on Bermuda, we're right next door. Ah well. 
so we'll do that in a minute. I'd like to recruit some Akonauts first. Let's go, I think, 12 and 10 is the best you can do. Yeah, 12 and 10. I will be doing, for the most part, the Hydrojet Cannon because auto-fire. I'll pick up 14 even though I won't be using 14. And the High Explosive Ammo. I will be using a few torpedoes because I do have some people for Team Rocket already. Which is good and fine. And the Hydrojet Cannon, the thing with it is it's, it's big, it's heavy, it's expensive and doesn't work on land. So terror missions, it's useless. Um, so because of that, I'm gonna be going with the gas cannon for land missions. So we will be picking up some of those. Armor piercing, not high explosive because I don't want to accidentally blow up a civilian. That'd be bad. Eh, I'll probably need more than that. Well, out of store space anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's go uh, 10 and, well, 10 and 10, fine. Um, drop the number of rockets down a bit. We don't need large torpedoes. Yeah, we'll just go smalls. And we do need tasers. We do need chemical flares. I would like particle disturbance, disturbance grenades, but we are... We are officially full on space. I can't even pick up a small little proximity mine. So, there. Now... We'll be doing the facility switch here. I can't set it up so I start the game like this, but in my opinion, that saves you time and money that you shouldn't have. So rather than cheat, I'll just do it this way. I'll do it manually. So, humph. And living quarters, living quarters, alien containment, and wide array there. And the reason I'm doing this, if you don't know, is Sometimes aliens will scout out your base and they will attack it, and then this becomes the map that you're fighting on. So taking advantage of the fact that they typically spawn in the access left and sub pens, not always, but normally they do, I'll be able to replace this living quarters with one of these, have another one spare so I can actually have more scientists and soldiers and stuff like that, and then we'll have a nice choke point right here, which we'll hold out and defend and just kill them as they come through. So, there. Hopefully I don't have to do that, but just in case I do, it's a nice thing to have in mind. And as far as research goes, with only 10 scientists, that's fine. We'll still do medkits. Because medkits are crucial. They save lives. And manufacturing-wise, medkits are a great thing to construct and then sell. Good source of money. I'm hoping I can wait for the new people to arrive before doing names. I can just do it all at once. Come on, dudes. Hey, there we go. Okay, five seconds. All researchers on that, only 20, it should be done in like a week or two though. And then I can do naming. And that leaves us with four people who are not named yet, so I will be pulling from comments of those names. Basically, everybody everybody who is on Patreon list is pledging enough that they get clones, so I will be doing immediate cloning, except Chrissy12321, who is not able to do the cloning yet. But I will be doing... Once I get through the freebie name list, we'll loop back around and we'll just do cloning for everybody then, and just kind of go in cycles like that, but... Given how many names that I normally get for this, usually around 70 to 100, um, if you're a freebie, don't expect to get cloning. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see how many names we get. And I think... Right, yeah, just uh, equip sub, Triton. Get more people on. 
there. And equipment wise, taking the dark guns off. Oh, balls, storage space. Okay, we need to sell some things first. Got it. Well, do get the flares on. All right, that's about the best we can do. We got a bunch of hydro jets on and a few torpedoes. So we'll have a spare, we'll have a few spare guns, but that's okay. Storage space is completely boned because I never sold stuff. I think eventually I'll be getting rid of the uh, craft gas cannons because they're such short range and low damage that they're not really worth having. I'd rather just do Ajax. I could probably do that now, actually. Sell those. Whoops, not those. Dark guns, dark clips, jet harpoons. Get rid of those. It's... The nice thing about jet harpoon is at least you get the auto fire, which is nice, but it is really low damage. But it does work on land and water, so it's just kind of your all-around good gun. Gas cannon also works above land and on and underwater, but it does not have auto fire, and it's heavy and a bit expensive. Whereas hydrojet, it does have auto fire, does not work on water or on land though, and it's even more expensive. All right, that's about all I can really sell, which isn't much. I think we'll be okay though. Ajax, Ajax, that's fine. And the number two is gonna be Ajax and DP head then, fine. They'll take a few hours to rearm and all that stuff. And then I should be able to sell the old craft gas cannons. There we go. Nice. There. That'll be fine. Now we just wait till the first mission. Or until research is done. Hey, small touchdown to the south. What? Heading south. Right, it will be heading south when it takes off. Nighttime though, so you don't want to do that. I will wait for a bit. Okay, and then send a barracuda over there. To attempt to shoot it down as soon as it takes off. I don't want to do a night mission this early. And of course we can't catch it. Yeah, out of fuel. Yeah, it's gone. It sucks when that happens. You would think that a barracuda camping over a USO that's landed would be able to just initiate combat as soon as it takes off. Not all the time. And most of the time the USO, it's like, it's landed because it's currently doing whatever job it had. So then when it takes off, it's like, okay, time to go home. It just goes max speed, which is a lot faster than the Barracudas. It sucks. It's unfortunate that was our first mission, but didn't want to do a night mission. Uh, not this early. And I don't want to do the terror mission with all rookies either. <laughs> Med kit's done. Cool. I guess we'll start on the particle disturbance sensor. That's another good thing to sell, I guess. Well... God, I dread the thought. Gauze technology. And these guys can make the medikits. Which I will most certainly be taking advantage of. Make as many as you feel like. Because whatever we don't equip, we'll just sell. He's heading west, supposedly. These guys, very long range and very powerful, are capable of completely just destroying outright a very small sub. So I tend not to use them on very smalls. There we go, downed. Nice. And we can take off now, actually. Because it'll be morning by the time we get there. Sorted. That was annoying. <laughs> I think I have it set so it saves the uh, loadouts and all that, but if I don't, then poo. And fortunately, we are in the rightmost corner, which is really nice. Jack, I prefer you're not the first off the ship. Get Seraphild out there. And then little me, who later become a medic, as well as Rada. There you are. You both out there for now. 
Could you get some kills early while you still can? Oh my god, this layout. I haven't had this layout in so long. I must have enabled that as well with the um, just random uh, maps. Wow, yeah, it's been forever. Do I have a die grenade anywhere nearby? There we go, that'll work. Prime it. Uh, good throw. <laughs> the hell. There, just for a bit of protection. It'll spread. Whoop. We see one up there. I don't know who saw it. Could have been anybody. Do we have a proximity anywhere? Did I bring proximities? I don't think I did. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so we'll have to set up a uh, sort of a trap then. I don't care! Just bank on the alien not having enough time to leave and shoot at us. Jack, we'll get you around the back side of the ship. As well as Quen. And 99er has a heavy. And you guys will push past all this debris and stuff, and we'll head out in two squads like that. If only we had time minutes for reaction fire. We don't see him because he's in the smoke. Fucking die! Auto fire! Whoa. Got him. Well done. Yeah, dive's actually pretty effective. It's um very dense, thick, oily, well, die, really. <laughs> so keeping that in mind, I couldn't really see him standing outside of the smoke when he was inside of it, so yep. Looks like that change is indeed in and it does work. If we had reaction points left, like timing is left, somebody, whether Seraphil or Rada, one of the two, 49 reactions, 58 reactions, probably Seraphil would have taken a shot as he ran out. Probably. So that's ground floor, huh? All right, and then above it is that. All right. Hmm. Okay. It just doesn't really... Hmm. Okay. Not hearing any doors or anything. Uh huh. Oh. Wait, little me. Three fiddle wounds? Oh shit, that rocket. Er, explosive. Fuck, misclick. Okay. Took a little bit of damage from that. Can you? Probably not. Jesus Christ, little me. Just drill through, why don't you? Well, you're gonna bleed to death. Six fatal wounds now. Ha! <laughs> uh, yeah, you're dead. <laughs> Damn. I was hoping I could at least, like, take him down with you. Maybe. Ooh. Oh, knocked him out, Quen. What a shot. Oops. And little me's dead. Yeah, six fatal wounds. It's just missing limbs, basically. Stuff is really hard to move across. Roger. Flash the darkness. I think that may have been up here. Yes. Fuck. Fuck. Ooh. Oh, so lucky. 99er kneeling aim shot with the rocket. 
71% chance. Direct fucking hit. Well done. And that is why we have Team Rocket. Don't those are definitely windows. We can probably see through all those. Meaning they can see us through them. Nope. More movement in the shadows. 99 are load up. Leaving you with 43 time units. You cannot do an aim shot anymore. Okay, very carefully. Gwen, step up. We're at the corner. So that may have been... Oh! The ship's over there. Okay, it's probably what I'm seeing. Whoops. God damn it. Neil? Fuck. Misclicked. Uh, it's probably what the flashing is then. It's just uh, the ship. I actually just sprint up there. Yep. That's what we're seeing. Jack kneeling, auto shot. Try it, the ship's right behind him, so if you miss, you'll probably still hit him. Got him. last one's probably inside the ship then, which is not... Is that a hole there? I was going to say which is not good, because that's a... Uh, this is a hard ship layout to handle. Did it leave anybody behind? No. Inside the ship. So that looks like a hole, though. And if it is, then that makes that a little bit easier. Not much easier, but a little bit easier. Because it gives us another way in. Ah, there we go. Another door. I'm not sure if that's actually a hole or not. You don't have a stun rod. Yeah, no, that's... Just a display bug. Well, no matter, there's still... Oh. You cheat. You can't see him. Don't lie to me, Quen. Oh, he's definitely there. There he is. He appears to be naked, but I don't trust it. Balls. Well, if he's not naked, then we got a problem. Okay. 
because he'll just pull a gun and kill you. So we have to take the shot here. Got him. Somehow that one pierced through the wall and got him. Not asking. One death. One death. Blood to death because, well, explosives. <laughs> Shrapnel everywhere. Get, did get a live alien, but unfortunately they're going to die on the ship because we don't actually have any sort of alien containment up yet. But we did get magnetic navigation and ion beam accelerators, which are both pretty crucial to get early on while you still can. Well, while you still can? No. Before you need them. Nice to have on hand. And Jack, Rada, and Seraphil promoted to Ensign. And no doubt we're missing... Uh, I don't know. More high explosives? No, not those. It actually uh, also occurred to me I'm going to need armor piercing for those close counters. <laughs> uh, and small torpedoes, more of those. That'll be okay. So now that when they get back, I'll take off the uh, stun rods. There. Because until we do a terror mission, we don't need them. Same with the chemical flares. Because now I actually have the storage base. All these grenades really are kind of shit. I'll keep them though. Um, do you need one more person? I guess Greg Thompson will become... Little me the second. There, already getting a clone. <laughs> but I'll hold off there so we can actually get some freebie names in. Again, leave a comment below and I will add you to the list and we'll just run through that and it'll be good. A lot of a lot of death to be expected though. Hmm. As I said, I'll pick up more, more names so we can get more freebies in it. Then I'll mix the Patreon and freebies together on the Triton. 